Hey, what's everybody? Time for another comic book review, and today's review is going to be of uh, Constantine number ten, Blight number, I believe, nine, part nine. It doesn't say Forever Evil on it, but I believe it is because they still talk about Blight and the Blight storyline. So we start off right where J Justice League Dark or Pandora. I can't believe I yes, Justice League Dark finished off where the Phantom Stranger goes to heaven, or tries to go to heaven, and they all follow him, and they are met by this awesome artwork. They go meet the Spectre and Azrael, or I believe Azrael. Possibly Azrael, I'm not sure. Anyway, cool artwork here. And so they proceed to be berated by this Azrael fellow, I believe his name is no, Zural. Azural. That's his name, Azural. And the, the Spectre, who is basically very powerful in the DC universe. And Con he does not like Constantine. Constantine is always a dickbag, and he's just so witty, and it's so funny. And the Spectre attacks him, and Zural tells him to stop, but he doesn't say. He doesn't want to, because he has no power, but then, then you get the, but I do. And you get the DC Universe God, which is a Yorkshire Terrier. As you can see, right there. Yep, God's a Yorkshire Terrier. I, I it's just so jokes to me. I like, I laugh every time I see God. Every time I see God. So they ask God why he hasn't been helping out, and he sh apparently Const he shows Constantine how he can't trust any of the Justice League Dark members. His new Justice League Dark, Phantom Stranger, Nightmare Nurse, the uh, Swamp Thing, Pandora. Hits them all with some sort of crazy light thing, and tells them, tells them that he can't trust any of them. And then Spectre tries to attack him. He has this in internal conversation with himself how he's going to trap the Spectre and then make God give him the power to be able to beat Blight, by by only re releasing him. He says that's going to cost him an arm or a leg, something like that. And it's just really funny. I've always liked Constantine. Blight is definitely my favorite different favorite part of uh, the Forever Evil. I'm glad I'm reading it. And it ends with uh, Constantine basically turning his back on on God and saying he doesn't need never mind, I don't need your help. And the artwork in this is okay. I've seen better. It's kind of weird at times. Like, I'm not sure, but Constantine's face is kind of weird in this. The art's okay, but I like the story. I really like, I'm glad I'm reading Blight. I can't get over how awesome Blight is. So, and then at the end, Constantine turns his back on God and tries to escape with the House of Mystery. And Azuril tr chases him. And he traps him in this little dome thing. But only, only for a little bit. He gets out and says... Uh, he apparently joins Constantine's fight with he joins just just League Dark for I guess a short time anyway and Azuril and him shake hands and they basically say let's go get Blight and that's where it ends Constantine telling the House of Mystery to take me to the Blight and that's where it ends and they're flying through space and time and that's the, the Blight there um, it was I liked I really liked this issue and the art kind of took me out of it a little bit, so that was a little bit of a negative for it. But I don't know why people shit all over Constantine and Just League and Pandora and Phantom Stranger. I really like them all, actually. I'm, I'm kind of sad that Phantom Stranger is getting canceled, but what can you do? So yeah, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and stuff like that. Subscribe, pull us over here. I probably have reviewed all of them by now, but that doesn't matter. And I would give this comic a seven. I give it a seven. I give it a seven. Yeah, that seems good. Good for me, a seven. So yeah, that's about it. I'm the comic addict. Follow me on Twitter at the CB addict, and that's about it. I am signing off.